Okay, now I will create one more 5D surfacing operation for machining of this conical area of my part. So I press new 5D contouring, sorry, 5D surfacing, like this. Okay, adjust safe surface. I choose cylinder and adjust the axis of this safe surface like this. Okay, next I will go to um, job assignment. So I have selected one surface before I created the operation. It automatically uh, was pushed to job assignment. So I will add other surfaces I'm going to machine. Here they are. Machining surfaces. This contour. Uh, I will use this contour also for toolpath strategy. I will show you in a moment. Uh, okay. The job assignment is fine, so I will go to strategy. And for toolpath strategy, I will choose uh, parallel to curve. Okay, next, for tool orientation, I will choose to rotary axis. Uh, and uh, my rotary axis is WCS Z axis. You can see this is blue one is Z axis of uh, workpiece coordinate system. Okay, so let's check what we have. Okay. Seems everything is already fine. Okay, let's simulate and see. Reset the workpiece, simulate up to current operation and press run. Okay, everything is working fine. Okay, by the way, uh, Sprutcam automatically has chosen tool number three. This is four millimeter spherical mill. So this mill is fine for this operation, so I didn't even touch it. Okay. Fine. Our 5D surfacing operation for finishing this conical area is ready. So now we are ready to make a next operation.